Today we're at the DARPA Grand Challenge, which is one of the world's largest robotics competitions. The inspiration for which was the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. The DARPA Robotics Challenge features competitors from all over the world. We have people here from Korea, Italy, Germany, Japan, and also the United States. We're terrifically lucky to have such a diverse set of people you know, working towards this particular challenge, which in this case is applying robotics toward the field of disaster response. An important part of the robotics challenge is to realize that humans are very much an important element. These robots cannot simply act autonomously. It takes a human partner, in this case, a human team of people, to be able to tell them what to do. One of the most amazing things about the challenge is the sense of camaraderie that exists between the teams. If you go over to the garage where most of the teams are prepping for the actual competition, you see people sharing software, sharing drinks, sharing swag, with hats, sweaters, shirts, and there's this tremendous sense of community here that exists. And what's particularly inspiring is to think that the people who are working here now in 2015 will probably be sharing ideas and professional notes with one another throughout the remainder of their professional lives. The teams are competing for a top prize of $2 million, a second prize of $1 million, and a third prize of $500,000, so $3.5 million altogether. And also, there's the benefit of just being, of having bragging rights in the robotics world.